All right, let's set up here while right, we're recording. This is Sergeant Deputy Miles interviewing Burt Johnson about the incident that occurred on October 13th, 2020. Okay, Bert, um, just start from the beginning. What do you remember about that night? Well, I was, um, I got off work, a normal night. I uh, came home, made dinner, like I usually do. And then I ate my food and it was good, but yeah, pr pretty normal night for the most part. Um, Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, do you recall what time you started to feel uneasy and things started to feel unsafe for you? Yeah, well, I uh, got home around 5.30ish, and by the time I finished eating dinner, it was like 6.45 or so, and I think that's, that's when I started um, noticing something was off. Okay. And what did you notice that was off? Well, I, I felt a weird energy, but that's when I heard it. So that's when I went up and I, I, I looked at what was going on. All right, this is Sergeant Deputy Miles interviewing the neighbors of Bert Johnson. Can you ladies please state your name for the record? My name is Liz Chandler and I'm Veronica Summers. Okay, ladies, what do you two remember about the night of October 13th, 2020? I can go first. Um, not too much. I work at the mall, so I just got off work um, around like four, so I got home at like 4.30. Um, and then Veronica's a little off a little bit later, but I was just chilling in my room until she got home around five-ish, right? Yeah, well, I think I, on that day, I think I worked until about 5.30, so I was probably a little more around, like, 5.45. Um, I kind of remember, like, coming home, bumping into Bert in the hallway, actually. We just kind of said hello, came home. Um, I think I already ate dinner on my break at work, so I think we just kind of, I came home and we watched a movie. Okay, and... What do you two remember about the rest of that night? Did you hear anything unusual? Yeah, so right before she got home, I started hearing kind of like a thump noise, um, but I didn't really think anything of it because, I mean, we live in a really old building, so I kind of hear noises all the time. And then she got home, I made a dinner really quick, just like a microwave dinner, and then we watched a chick flick. But in the middle of our movie, we had to pause it because we heard just this really loud thumping noise. And do you recall what time that was that you heard the noise? I'm pretty positive it was at 9 p.m. Okay. And like you guys said, it wasn't super specific, just a thumping noise. Yeah, it was like thumping and just really loud, like not normal for like, you know, someone's like hammering something in their wall. Like it didn't sound like that. It sounded like a deeper, like something that was like hitting the floor almost. Okay. So I don't know if that was like a dog or a cat, I don't know, a big cat. <laughs> I don't know. Um, well, how is your relationship with Bert? Um, how long have you known him? How long have you been his neighbors? How are your interactions with him? I've known Bert for about like a year and a half. Um, I, he was already living in the building when I moved in and then Veronica moved in maybe like a couple months after I did. So we've known him for quite a bit of time. The whole time that we've lived there, um, he's always super nice. He's really outgoing. He's never like hesitant to stop and say hello and check in and just kind of catch up whenever we do run into him. Yeah, he's been a really great neighbor. Yeah, I see him quite often, like like Veronica said. I talk to him all the time. He's very, very friendly. Okay, well, we might have you two back for questioning later, but this is a great start, thank you.